Hello everyone, I'm Thierry Barbet and I want to talk to you about the Dietersdorf Concerto. This Dietersdorf was written in 1767. So the classical background is in Vienna and of course it was composed for violone with Viennese tuning, gut string of course, and um, I will propose you to play it on the modern bass because uh, this is what you need in the orchestra audition. Uh, of course, I will make a compromise and try to imitate a little bit the Viennese and the historical informed uh, way of playing. But, um, um, and also I will play the original by Tobias Glöckler in the Henley edition with no cuts, of course. Um, for instance, um, I will try to imitate the free bow projection that we have with gut string and also to play with some barre, which is uh, also usual for, for the Viennese tuning. Mm -hmm. um, so the beginning, for instance, the projection is... This is very important. This is what you have also. Uh -huh. Okay, French or German, it's the same. And um, so. Of course, I like to, to play with some vibrato because, again, orchestra audition, uh, it's a kind of modern way but not too much vibrato, not romantic vibrato like Bottesini, of course, of course. The tempo... can be very uh, gentle and not too fast, because if you play too fast, you kill the music. So it's very important to play gentle, like aristocracy. So be careful with this note. Some, a lot of students play uh, too low. It's very important. So please, if you have little hands, put two fingers on A. Or two, one, two. But if you play only, for instance, with three, it's not enough because the, the number three is maybe not strong enough. So you really need two fingers to play. Myself, I play, I, I have awful uh, memories about this note, so it's very important. Huh? Okay, so this piece is... There is no crescendo written in the original. But, of course, the bow, like Baroque bow, is very expressive. Huh? And um, so without vibrato would be... It's not a crescendo, it's an expression. Okay? And, of course, you can add more expression with vibrato. Of course. First note, important. This one is very... On the string. At the frog, and then this is a little bit more more uh, short, short notes, and then okay. Uh, those two notes I like to to play down down. So here you are a bow, and you can really indicate the direction of this long note. And now I'm at the frog, and I'm perfect to play with uh, with um, with two dot dots that I like to. So with the French, the German, the same. This 
phrase could be without vibrato, which is more the, the, the baroque historical way to play, okay? For me, vibrato in Baroque music for, to play Bach or in classical, which is very close to Baroque music. Anyway, bar, uh, vibrato is used as an ornamentation like another. So for me, of course, vibrato is part of the classical and Baroque music, of course. So then we continue. So with the little bridge. Okay. So we, we, we continue this, uh, this style, like this, okay? We don't play, of course, we don't play legato like this, it's, it's uh, very bad taste. Huh? Here you have an appoggiature, appoggiature. The, the chord is A major, so... So make value, make value on, on this F sharp. It's very, very important. Huh? This one. The same. So no problem here, you have substitution. And appoggiature. This is very important. 